Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. Hope you're all doing great. And we have been seeing binary search series where in our first video we have seen how binary search works, the time and space complexity of binary search and the pattern or the code template of binary search. And we have seen two more problems that can be solved using binary search logic. So today we are going to see a third problem in the series that is cocoa eating bananas, which is a medium problem in lead code. We are going to solve this using the logic of binary search. So now the problem statement says, Coco loves to eat bananas and there are n piles of bananas. The i pile has piles of i bananas. The guards have gone and will come back in h hours. Coco likes to eat slowly but still wants to finish eating all the bananas before the guard returns and we have to return the minimum integer a such that she can eat all the bananas within h hours. So here what is k? k is bananas per hour eating speed of coco. So let's understand this problem with an example. So consider there are n number of piles. Say first pile is having three bananas and second pile is having six. Third is having seven and the last is having 11 bananas. And it is said that the gods will be returned in eight hours. So now the task of our coco is to eat all the bananas in all the piles within eight hours. And now we have to find the speed that is k here. k is nothing but the number of bananas Coco can eat in an hour. So now let's consider Coco starts eating from the first pile. First pile has three bananas. Let's consider our k is equal to four for example, which means Coco can eat four bananas per hour. Though it can eat four bananas per hour, there are only three bananas in our first pile. But Coco cannot move to the next pile and eat more bananas. It should wait in the same pile for that hour and move to the next pile in next hour. So Coco starts at the first pile with speed of k is equal to 4 that is eating 4 bananas per hour. But it has only 3 piles. So it finishes off the first pile in first hour and wait till that first hour is over. So now moving on to our second pile, second pile has six bananas. So in my first hour, Coco will eat four bananas because the maximum speed it can eat is four and rest is two bananas left. So it will take one more hour to eat the two bananas in that pile. It will not move to the next pile and eat it. It has to stay in the same pile for that hour till it finishes all the bananas in the pile. So now moving on to the next pile which is having 7 bananas. For the first hour it will complete 4. For the next hour it will complete 3. And it takes 2 hours again to complete the pile with 7 bananas. Finally moving on to our last pile which has 11 bananas. So the first hour it will take 4. And the next hour it will take 1 more 4. And finally it will take a 3. So it will take overall 3 hours to complete this pile. So if you calculate the number of hours it takes to complete the piles, it is going to be 8. So that is actually the maximum hours Coco can get and after 8 hours the gods will return. So it is possible to eat all the bananas within 8 hours with the speed of k is equal to 4. That is going to be our output. So how are we going to decide we can approach this using binary search? Now that we know Coco can eat only bananas in a single pile for that hour, then the maximum number of bananas Coco can have is 11 in this example. That is the maximum number of bananas in the pile out of all given piles. So if Coco is eating bananas in this pile and the maximum speed or k is equal to 11, it can finish all 11 bananas in one hour. Though even the speed is going to be 12 or 13, it can eat maximum of 11 bananas for that hour. So we know the cocoa's capacity of eating maximum bananas is 11 and the minimum banana is 1. That is having only 1 banana per hour. So we know clearly that our answer lies between the limits 1 and 11. As we have seen in our previous videos, once we determine the range of our output, that is we know that our output lies within the lower bound and upper bound, then we clearly can use binary search. So now as usual, we are going to select a mid value between the lower bound and upper bound which is going to be our k in this case. 
So we are going to design a condition function that is we are going to use the same template as we have used in our first video where we check our condition function returns true or false based on the result of that function we are going to decide where we are going to search for our answer whether in the first half of the search values or in the second half. So now this condition function for this particular problem is going to determine by having the speed k whether Coco can finish all the bananas in all the files within h hours. So how are we going to do that? The maximum bananas Coco can eat in a pile for that hour is going to be seal of the total number of bananas in that pile by the speed. That is if it is going to eat the pile with 11 bananas, total bananas is 11 and the speed is going to be 4 which gives us the seal of 11 by 4 is going to be 3 that is it is going to take 3 hours to complete this pile. So we are going to iterate through all the piles and find all the hours it needed for that particular k speed we select and if the total hours exceed k or less than k based on the result we are going to fix our searching space. So now let's see the code now. So as we have the template of our binary search I'm going to set my left and right value as 1 and the maximum value in the given file. Now that we have set our values of upper bound and lower bound, we're going to use the same template as always. This is nothing but the same template we have seen in our first video. So now let's spend some time in writing the function can eat. So here h is the total number of hours uh, the guards will return in. So we are going to subtract the total number of hours it takes to eat a particular pile and we iterate through all the piles and calculate the total hours. If the hours goes greater than zero which means the value is higher or the speed is higher so we set our searching space before mid. If not if the value is less than h which means the speed is less so we are going to increment our left pointer towards mid plus one and do the search. Finally we are going to return here. So yes, as always, we designed a condition, condition function which returns true or false based on the result we set our boundary value of searching space. So now code is done. Let's run this. So yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe and wait for more videos on binary search solutions. So thank you.